global warming, overpopulation, water shortages, mass famine. This is what you usually hear about when people speak of 21st century problems. Or perhaps, if you're a teacher, you're about other sorts of problems. Kids today need discipline. Kids today need to read more books. Kids today need more time to play. My question is, doesn't that put the cart in front of the horse? Why are we focusing so much on skills and then inventing problems to teach them? If our focus is on 21st century skills, then what about 21st century problems? Last year I went on a field trip with the grade 6 humanities class to three temples here in Hanoi. One Confucian, one Taoist, and one Buddhist. All of the students carried around the same worksheet, asked the tour guides the same questions, and wrote down the same answers. At the time I thought to myself, this is great! The kids are getting out into the city, they're seeing real historical sites and interacting with them, they're asking questions from knowledgeable adults. Then I asked myself, what problem are they actually trying to solve? The only answer I could find was, you need to fill out a worksheet for your teacher. Later, I went back to those sites with a friend and wanted to know more about them. I googled the sites to see what I could find, and then went to trusty Wikipedia. The Confucian temple, there was some information. Less than I expected, but some. For the Buddhist temple, there was a single paragraph. For the Taoist temple, there was nothing. Nothing. When you think about it, it's somewhat appropriate for a Taoist temple. Still, I found myself wondering, why were all of our students doing research that was going nowhere, while right in front of us was a need to do research that could go virtually everywhere? When I was in sixth grade, the encyclopedia was a collection of books by World Book that sat at the bottom of my parents' bookshelf. The idea of being able to add to it was unimaginable. Now, the most extensive encyclopedia in the world lives in our pockets and allows us to contribute our own knowledge and research. Even kids are able to work on and solve problems that were the domain of experts before. This year, the grade 6 teachers are getting ready to do the field trip once again. We have split the grade into four groups. Group 1 is in charge of the Confucian Temple, Group 2 the Buddhist Temple, and Group 3 the Taoist Temple. Group 4 is broken up into smaller groups that will each do an interview on a particular subject at one of the sites. Before the trip, students will be looking at the existing knowledge regarding their particular site. They'll be examining how the site connects to their understanding of Confucianism, Buddhism, and Taoism. They'll talk about what sorts of questions have already been answered, what sorts of questions still need answers. Then, after the trip, the students will create, improve, and modify the current articles to take them to the next level. The video teams will edit their shots to inscribe the interviews and upload them to YouTube. Then they will put the transcriptions in Wikipedia articles and reference their changes with their own videos. While none of this is particularly easy, neither is it particularly hard. Perhaps the most difficult aspect is that, unlike general skills, authentic problems are constantly changing. Authentic problems build on previous work, they don't replicate it. This isn't to say that we need to throw out all our lessons, our standards, or our learning objectives. Instead, when we look at them, let's not put the cart in front of the horse. Whenever we look at a lesson, let's ask ourselves, what problem is it that we're actually trying to solve? If it's an authentic problem, it'll be a meaningful problem to those working to solve it. It'll have a real solution. So when people talk about the problems of the 21st century, while they may seem looming disasters, I see budding opportunities. I see ways that kids can make meaningful contributions while learning and having fun. Because if you think about it, none of us like being the problem all the time. We want to be the solution. What if every school was a little bit like graduate school, where students could work alongside researchers, make original contributions, and help to solve the problems of the 21st century world? If the problems kids solve are meaningful, won't they learn the skills and knowledge they need along the way? What if we spent less time thinking about students as problems that needed to be solved, and more time thinking of them as people who are able to solve problems?